Yo, mother chuckers! Rip Trippers back at you today with another big video! And today we're gonna be taking a look at something that I just got in my hands. I'm a little late to the party on this puppy chugger, but I'll tell you what, first impressions, whoa! This is like, whoa, this is kick ass, sick as tits, whoa. It's from, yeah? It's from a company, <laughs> get your shit together, Rip! It's from a company called Geek Vape. We all know who Geek Vape is, and it's called the Aegis X Kit. So it comes with a Cerberus tank, and I've already talked about the Cerberus tank. I mean, everyone's talked about the Cerberus tank, it's a solid sell -em tank. That ain't the star of the show. The star of the show is this mother chucker right here. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. The Aegis X. So it's kind of like the Aegis Legend, right? It's IP67 rated. So it's waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. That's what they claim. And as you guys can see, they're about the same size. Same size, same weight. The only difference is, well, the biggest difference is this mother chucker, the new Aegis X, it's got a freaking big ass screen. It's got a 2.4 inch mini screen. I mean, it is, this is like, goodness gracious. This is the biggest mini screen I've ever seen on a mod. At least one of them, for sure. Top two. But other than that big ass mini screen on the Aegis X, versus this old Aegis legend. They feel the same. They look pretty much the same. Same weight. Like I said, though, the biggest difference is the mini screen, and that mini screen is what makes it. In my opinion, guys, I mean, this thing right here, it's got everything wrapped into one except squonking. Big, beautiful, bright mini screen, which I'm gonna show you in a second. Don't worry. It's got that little half pad on the back. You see this beautiful half pad? Oh, yeah. Now, it doesn't go all the way around it like the Aegis legend, but how can it? It's got this big mini screen on the side. Oh, and if we go to the function buttons, oh, buddy. Love, love, love this fire button. Pretty much the same as the Aegis legend. Nice, clicky, and comfortable attack. Tactile. Of course, below that, you got your watch up, watch down buttons. And then as you guys can see below that, it says Aegis. Oh, yeah. And this is a dual 18650 battery mod. It's got that nice sealed battery door at the bottom. Just pop it open, pop it in, lock it up. You know the drill. Oh, yeah. And at the top, it's got a center 510 connection, just like the Aegis Legend. And then next to that, you got your sealed USB port. And if we go back to comparing these two mods, the Aegis Legend and the Aegis X, I mean, they're made of the same materials. Pretty much. The Aegis X has that zinc alloy frame with that rubber coating. A little bit of leather. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of plastic. You know what I'm saying. It's the same materials as the Aegis Legend. So you know it's gonna be durable. The only thing I'm worried about this puppy chugger is the mini screen. I mean, you're not gonna be able to throw this against the wall. <laughs> it's gonna crack. So if you're one of those construction vapors out there, you're always outside. You're always beating down your products. I would say go with the Aegis Legend because it's definitely way more, I wouldn't say way more solid, but because it does not have that big mini screen like the Aegis X, you're gonna be able to throw this thing around a little bit more. Like I said, sub-ohm tank that comes with this is great. Not the best I've ever had, but it's good. Oh yeah, real quick, what else do you get with this kit? So like I said, comes with a Cerberus tank, 25 millimeter tank holds 5.5 mils of juice in bubble glass tube mode. You get 2.20 mesh coil heads. Vape good. Chucking tits, man. Vapor's good. Flavor's good. Oh, vapor's good. Yeah, you see the vapor. But the flavor's good. Nice, dense, and saturated. It's not the best freaking flavor I've gotten, but it's solid. And the airflow you get with this tank, wide open. Hear it again. It is loud as a mother chucker, but now you get a ton of airflow. And smooth. Personally, I like to close it off about halfway. And again, you see that big old mini screen? Look at that. That's freaking huge. Big, bright, beautiful, legible. You got options too. That's another thing we're going to go to. But before I get to that, okay, okay. You get the Cerberus tank, two coil heads, an extra straight glass tube. You get some O-rings too for the Cerberus tank. Comes with a few screws for your mod and you also get an extra USB port plug. Of course, you get this USB cord for the X mod. And of course, you're going to receive all your instructional cards. And as far as the packaging goes, it's just like all the other Geek Vape packaging that I've seen. Nice, pretty, and beautiful. But if we go back to the vape quality, yeah, it's good. The mod hits really good. Now, I will say this. It doesn't have the fastest ramp up time, but the beauty is you can adjust it. You got soft mode, you got standard mode, and you got powerful mode. But even in powerful mode, it doesn't seem to hit quite as fast as other mods out there. It's not a big deal to me, but it's something to point out to you. But if we go back to this mini screen, look at that, man. Get to the close-ups. Yeah, here's the mini screen. It's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Three clicks the clicky-ass fire button, one, two, three, and you can adjust. You got your M1 settings. You can adjust through those settings using the watch up, watch down button, M2, M3, M4, back to M1, and then you can use the fire button to adjust from power, where we can adjust power. Power, huh? VPC, bypass, SSTCR, NITCR, TITCR, TCR, and then back to power. So you got loads of options with this, man. But yeah, if we look back at the mini screen, you can adjust power. You got your standard pre-boost settings where you can adjust that from standard to powerful to soft. I just like to keep it all standard. Gets the job done. To be honest with you, I kind of like it that it's not like in my face when I hit the fire button. I mean, most of these mods out there, especially from like Vaporesso, holy crap. It's like dial it down a little bit. But again, I gotta say this, this is a little bit softer. It takes a little bit more ramp up with this mod. But if we look back at the mini screen below that, we got our wattage, and this has double the wattage that the Aegis Legend has. It goes all the way up to 200 watts, guys. And it does round robin, too. That's a pro. And of course, below that, you got your coil, you got your volts, you got your amps, and you got your puff counter. Oh yeah, at the top, you got the dual battery gauge, too. Now, I'm sure there's a load more options with this, but I got this in today, man. This is a first impressions, basically. And first impressions, this knocked my ass 
right out of the ballpark. Seriously, the way this thing feels, feels just like the Aegis Legend, but with a mini screen, a big old mini screen. And the sub -ohm tank, again, it vapes good. Here, I'll take one more hit. I'm gonna take the watch up, because right now, I had it set to 50 watts before, but I'm gonna take it up to about 65. I think that's what it's rated. Something like that. You know what? Let's do 67 watts. Halfway open on the airflow. That's the way I like it with this tank. That's it, man. That is it. The flavor. It's not as good as the Falcon or the Next Mesh sub -ohm tank coil heads or even the ones I just reviewed. The UL coil heads, not as good as those, but it's good. Now, as far as longevity goes for these coil heads, I don't know exactly how long these coil heads last, but I've tested some old Cerberus coil heads. They last me a good week, two weeks. And another thing I didn't show you guys, and I got to go back to this, but the tank, it's got easy peasy top fill. I mean, you just unscrew it, you fill it up. Plenty of room to fill it up, two slots. And then you got an 810 tip. Yeah, it's got your standard 810 tip, man. A little bit short for my taste, but it's comfortable. And if you want, you can use your preferred 810 tips with this. This tank, it's nice, yeah. And just to show y'all mother chuggers, you could choose multiple different color options for this puppy chugger. I can't even fit them all on the screen and there's even more than this. But yeah, you could choose a smooth like leather feel, like this cowhide leather feel or a suede. It feels like suede or cotton, that's freaking cool. I like the brown, the silver, but I like the black and the orange. You know, this is really soft stuff. So yeah, all in all, I'm digging it. First impressions, I am digging this Aegis X. I like it better than this, this Aegis Legends. I love the Aegis Legend, you guys know. I could not put this down for freaking months, man. And this, I mean, look at that screen. I can't get over it. It's so pretty. It's so beautiful. The whole mod's beautiful. It feels good. Now, the way I fire it, if you don't want to cover up the screen, you want to fire it up with your thumb. Right-handed with your thumb. Now, you can fire it up with your index, but you're going to be covering up the screen. And I prefer not to do that. I want to be able to see. Well, you ain't going to be able to see what you're doing while you're vaping, but you know what I'm saying. Pull it away, see where you're at, you know, the puffs, all that good stuff. You get the drift. Oh, yeah, another thing. This does not come with batteries. Batteries are not included with this kit. But guess what? I know a place where you can get them. A good place. Vape Trek. Check it out, guys. V A P E T R I K. Use code V I P. P, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10% off of those batteries. And anything else, we got loads of juice over at Vape Trek, guys. Some of my favorites, Transmission, Rainbow Nuggets, Blueberry Custard, 2016, which is like a, uh, it's like a blueberry donut. We just got some Mr. Meringue in too over at Vape Trek. You know what Mr. Meringue is, right? God, I hadn't had that stuff in like, it seems like a year. Yeah, we just got some stuff back in stock. Mr. Meringue, it's a lemon meringue pie type e-juice, both freaking tastic. But all those juices I just mentioned, you can get them over at Vape Trek too. VapeTrek.com, check it out. Now, as far as price point goes to this bad man, Jim, I'm seeing her sell online, 95, 100 bucks. Of course, you know me, guys. I'll post a link down in the description of the site that I know of that is credible, that is carrying this thing right now. I'm done. That's it. I am out, mother chuggers. This is Rip Trippers. And remember, smoking is dead. Baby is the future. And the future is down. Peace. <laughs> Bye, guys.